I am doing a reverse decoupage. So I have a ton of these old farmhouse windows here. And I am going to put decoupage on the back side of it. So I'm going to do it upside down. So it'll show through the front side like a window. So bear with me the first time. Give me grace. If you have suggestions, just let me know. I'm going to turn it over. And we're just going to start decoupaging. I'm going to line up this side. Um, actually, first thing is I cleaned it with window cleaner because they were kind of dirty. So I cleaned this side. I did not clean the other side, but I did clean this side with window cleaner. So, and I've decided that this little design is a little bit off. So I'm going to put this edge right on the uh, flat edge of the window. And this side over here, I will trim it off when, um, when I get to that part. So, like I said, I cleaned the window with uh, window cleaner. And all I'm going to do is take, uh, you can take any kind of hot coat, but I'm going to use um, Tough Coat by Fusion. You guys see that? That's what I'm going to use. You can use any kind of Tough Coat you want. So, Like I said, this is my first time doing this, so if you guys have questions, please, 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 please. Let me know, or suggestions, because I'll gladly take suggestions. So, and you may lose me, my face part, because my phone is dying and I did not charge it right today. But the computer is this one. The cam is my computer. So it should be good. I'm going to try to get this done in an hour. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to try. So I'm going to make sure it's lined up pretty good on this. Okay. And we're going to fold it back. I'm going to start putting down the clear coat. So, and I'm just going to put clear coat on it for now. Um, when I'm done, I may come back and put some of the um, put some of the um, mirrored uh, stuff on, like I did with the uh, flamingo. So put the mirror, the mirror uh, paint on it, and I might put. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. This is just a thought today. <laughs> so I am just going to spread this out, making sure that it's smooth and making sure that I got enough. Like I didn't do enough decoupage medium right there. I'm going to try to make sure I put enough. And it's not going to hurt to go a little bit over the edge because what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the, paint, the um, window so I can hide the top and hide the bottom. That's what I'm going to end up doing. So again, this is my first time, so give me grace. If you have suggestions, let me know. And I'm just smoothing out the um, bumps to make sure there's no bubbles in it. And I probably should have started with the other side, but I didn't. I did it with this side. As you guys can see, I'm going to fold it back. So you guys can try this so I can. Okay, there's the edge. Okay. And I'm just going to decoupage. This is just um, clear coat by Fusion Mineral Paint, nothing special. Um, I've seen it done with, um, Wise Owl One Eye Enamel, I've seen it with other, um, Dixie Bell, uh, what is it, uh, Gator Hide, so I've seen it a few different ways. Um, the goal is, though, just to make sure we get enough medium on, so, um, it'll adhere to the, the glass, and then smooth it out real good, so it will, um, not have bubbles. And make sure it doesn't have bubbles and make sure it's smooth to the glass. You guys can probably see those bubbles right there. I'm going to work them out with my little squeegee, my little spatula. There we go. And I see that this is lifted a little bit, so I didn't get enough medium. I don't know if you guys can see, but right here in the corner. So I'm just going to get a little bit in the corner there. 
And for me, it's okay to get the um, medium brown because I'm going to paint the um, around the edges anyway. So, and when I have it all down, I'm going to paint over it one good time to make sure everything fits down. So just to make sure everything gets down pretty good. And actually, it's going on pretty smooth. You guys can see that right there is where I put the medium. It's like I need to pull up just a little bit because I missed right here. So I'm going to pull it up just a little bit. It isn't going to hurt it because it's not. Um, I think it ain't going to hurt it. Okay. So I'm going to get a little bit right here. And I got to kind of work fast because I'm putting a thin coat and it will dry. So, um, and the lights are not helping with the, the um, with the, uh, drying it. So, I'm fold it over, smooth it out, make sure the bubbles are out of it. Now, if you guys want to try this in your local, I have a ton of these little um, windows and I have a ton of the decoupage. So if you're local, let me know. You can work something out and you can have you try it with your own uh, decoupage. Oh, 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 oh. Your own decoupage. Amanda. I don't know if you're watching, but Ophelia. So just do a little at a time and keep pulling it back is what I'm doing. Trying to make sure that I get enough decoupage medium down. Um, I'm making sure I'm working quick because I don't, because my lights are dry in the um, medium. So I need to work fast, but make sure it's, the bubbles are out of it because I do not want bubbles in my decoupage paper. That drives me crazy. I don't know about you, but it drives me crazy. Okay. Oop. Move that over here. Just gonna smooth this out. See where the bumps at. Bump it because it's not dry. And I'm just gonna smooth out. There we go. Just putting it on and moving slow. What I'm doing. I mean, putting it on and moving fast. I'm sorry. But trying to make sure it's accurate. Make sure all the bubbles are out of it. But I'm just putting a little one at a time. And then smoothing it out. A little one at a time. Smoothing it out. I do not want bubbles in my paper. And it's drying pretty quick because of all the lights. If I don't have lights, it would be a little dark in here. So My office isn't the brightest. And then this, uh, this window is a little bit bigger than my sewing table. So I had to improvise today. It's a little bigger. So what I'm doing is pushing all the bubbles out to the edges. So if it has extra medium in there, it pushes it all out so it doesn't leave a big bump. Hope you guys are noticing what I'm doing there. Like I'm just going to keep working it. right here. I'll just put a little bit right there and then work it out. See, just like that. 
very forgiving today, but it's drying pretty quick. So a little bit more medium. And again, I'm only, I'm just using, um, fusion mineral paint tough coat, just, or you can use any of the, um, top coats or, um, Gator High, Dixie Belle, oh, got a hair on it. Make sure it's out of there. Or, um, One Hour Enamel by Wise Owl, any of those would work. Just working it. So the bubbles go out and it lays flat to dry. Make sure there's no bumps in there. I washed the um, glass with glass cleaner before I went live. Because I had a mess going on. And it was they were filthy. But I picked them up at um yard sale, I think. And uh, they were just out of somebody's house. Because around here they do that a lot. They have the old farmhouses around. Uh, Eastern North Carolina, and they upgrade, and they just sell the, the glass. I did a few of these uh, glasses with uh, transfers, and they're beautiful. I have a couple more decoupage, some new decoupage that came in. I've, I've uploaded them online. Um, I'm just thinking about doing those. But I just grabbed this real quick because I was like, oh, I'm going to go live, right? So. If you have questions and it's not live anymore, just um, put your questions in the comments and I will come back to it and answer them. If you want to try decoupage, drop me a message and we'll, and I can walk you through it or um, we can work something out. If you're local, I have a ton of these um, windows. So. Let me know. If you're not local, I can ship them, but I'm sure the windows will be expensive. But I can also sh just ship the um, decoupage papers. Oh, there's another hair. It's a blue hair. Mm. Oh, poo. There it is. Um, I can ship you the decoupage and some of the tough coat because I have little little things of the tough coat. And then you guys can find your own. Uh, um, windows or window frames or whatever you guys want to use. Um, just let me know if you're interested. Put a package together. Oh, there's Frank with dinner. Yay! Go, Frank. Slay him. Really? On a Monday. Oh no. Well, I'm glad I called in early. Well, she said 20 minutes, so. And I'm just going to make sure I got it down good and make sure all the air bubbles are out and make sure I have all the excess. And there's a little bit right there that needs. Right there. I threw them out. <laughs> that was quick and easy. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to Cut this edge here off with a sharp. If you guys can see, it's a little just. A little, I don't know. Whoa, I lost you. Here, we're just gonna end that. Okay, that one there, that one there died. Let me take that off. Okay, I have to do something better next time. But you can still see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to push it down this way a little bit. You can see over here, I'm working over here. So I'm just going to take a straight edge. I'm trying to get out of the light. Just going to take a straight edge and just run along that. Try to cut it off.
I know. Don't say it. I love you. I love you too. You should have got a roller. I know. I thought about it after I stood up. I'm not a plan ahead type of person if you haven't figured it out. Okay. So I cut off the excess over there. Oh. Okay, I'm talking to the folks. And I'm just going to put a little bit of medium on the back of this just to make sure it's down good. And just to make sure it's down good. I'm going to try to make sure I don't get bubbles. I'm going to wipe the bubbles out. Take all of 15 minutes. Give me some more. It's not taking a lot. I just didn't put a whole lot in there. But like I said, I have little um, tiny um, tough coats and I have a bunch of these decoupage papers. So if you want to try this, let me know. You can cut out the uh, flowers. You can get Goodness, I have a ton. You pick out one or two or three that you like. You guys can put them together. And what I was going to do is take some of that pink that I did the other day with the um, with the flamingo and put it around the front side of this so it kind of decorates the um, frame. Because the frame's just a white, you know, little, but I, I was thinking about doing that. I'm not sure what you guys think about that. That's what I'm thinking. So... And again, when I'm done, I am going to, when it dries, I'm going to put the um, mirror spray paint around the top and the bottom to make it have that little um, antique -y look. How I did the um, flamingo is I put it on the back and put the flamingo on the front. I guess I could do that too. Maybe next time I'll try that. Right there's a big bubble. I don't know if you guys can see. I didn't get enough stuff right there. But I think there's enough underneath it. Like if I move it around, it will. Yeah, see? It's going to move it around. It was an air pocket. So I got it. being so careful with the edges because I'm going to paint that this here with that uh, mirror paint. Pocket 
there. But then I did say fit on that area. There it goes. Okay. So I'm done with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flip it over. The name of this uh, decoupage is Queen Bee. You guys can see. Ooh. Queen Bee. So I'm going to try to turn it over without, without dropping it. So hang on. Let me try to flip it. This side's dirty, so don't look at the dirty side. But look how cute that is. And I'm going to put some antique stuff on the edges, and I'm going to paint the um, sides the pink. I think it's called Palm Springs Pink. But I will put it up on their website. If you guys are interested in trying this out, let me know. And I can talk you through it. Or I can do another one. Because that's what I do. Alright guys, thanks for hanging with us quick and easy. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.